Today, we are just outside the Twin Cities at our wash plant. Let's go check it out. So we've looked at a lot of crushing projects previously. This is our first washing project that we're showcasing. And how is washing different than crushing? Well, you're not doing any forced sizing in the material. You're simply sorting and cleaning. So we're taking material that we'd previously screened earlier in the season, blending it with a real sandy bank feed, putting it into the plant. And once again, all the plant is doing is separating it by size and washing the material, washing off any fines, sand, particles, or silt or clay on the rocks and just getting it clean so it can meet the spec for its respective projects. There's people in two camps with this really. If you, people seem to really love washing but dislike crushing and vice versa. The reason being is there's a lot of nuance to both of them. Um, with washing there's a lit litany of equipment that you don't use in crushing applications. Things like uh, dewatering screens, um, coarse material screws, and things like that so it's actually quite a bit different approach even though on the outside looking in it looks very similar so um, this is a, a good project for us we're doing 90,000 tons of throughput uh, we're gonna end up with a pretty balanced ratio of products and uh, yeah it's good to be here good to be back <music> So on this site we're using a closed loop water system. What that essentially means is we have fresh water on the east end of the project getting positive pressure pumped up into the plant where it's going to be washed in with the aggregates. From there at this westernmost pond the water comes in and it's dirty. Through this series of ponds it filters out sediment and then once again returns as clean water to be pumped back up to the plant. Taking a look at our first product, this is called pea gravel or pea rock. And why do you think that is? Well, it looks like a handful of peas. This is going to be used for bedding drain tile in commercial applications. is inch and a half rock, commonly used for bedding septic tanks and building infiltration ponds. So this next pile is a three quarter inch wash rock commonly referred to as radon rock and I actually don't know what radon is we should probably google it radon is a radioactive noble gas that comes from the decay of radium in the soil holy shit Typically when we process aggregates, we'll move in, make a pile, and then leave, and then the customer will load it out over the next year until we return. This site's a little bit interesting because a lot of this material was actually pre-sold before we even got here, so these piles never get 
big because they're constantly loading it out as we're making it. So it really eliminates any margin for error uh, for breakdowns because we need to stay on top of production so they can continue to load this out to the project. The final product we're manufacturing is a washed sand. When we put it through the wash plant, we pull the fines out and it's gonna be used in infiltration ponds. It looks very similar to what you'd see on the beach. That's a wrap on this job site. Comment what you want to see on the next one, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.